having to worry about. Stream is stuff. started. Because I'm already, I'm already set up. Oh my god, I forgot this menu moves so fast. <laughs> and I won't have my recording there. Because I won't do what I did last time when I was racing someone and I put my recording there and I was watching myself, not then. Oh, perfect, yeah. Hit golf. Uh, Hit golf. I love how clear it is that they built this game with the lag in mind. Because I'm on the opening menu, and I I flip the icon right to the next option, and the icon finishes flipping in, like, half the time the sound effect plays. Oh, yeah, it does. I, I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah, I can do that, Golf. I can do both a little bit. That should be better. Yeah, as much as I want to say that playing this game without lag is like playing it intended, there are some things where it's clear they knew how laggy it was and how slow the game ran. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, they had to know. Yeah. I reckon that's partially why the tear screens go so long and are skippable and that it loads in while it's doing the screen. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, should I play as Bob or someone else? What even, um, what even are the Enzo and Dot cutscenes? Or I'd, cuts I'd probably the cheat codes. Yeah. I'd probably say go with Bob if your purpose is to test lag. True. Just I should do it then, the way that I've been playing. And then have your second run be with Enzo to test that theory. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good call. Okay. Okay, well, I... I am ready. Whenever. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, so on new game, let's say three, two, one, go. Let's do this. I am recording. Yes. Excellent. I've made that mistake too many times. I can't wait to finish this run and be like, oh, that was terrible, and get like a sub 40. <laughs> Although I don't know though, dealing with the uh, the input lag may may throw me a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm feeling it already. Some of these turns are <laughs> not going quite as I expect them to. Oh my god, there's no lag. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Which version of EPSXE do you play on again? Uh, 2.05 okay. or something. Okay. I'm playing on 2.0.0. I want to say 0.5 is actually slower? I don't remember. I stopped paying attention to EPSXE news a while ago when I found out how inaccurate it was. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I think... I think I only picked this up because I couldn't get the um, R2 and L2 buttons working properly in Medmiffin. Oh yeah, that's fair. So I was just like, I'm going to... Given that my goal is just like a personal one of running all those games, it doesn't matter if I use... Oh my god. Um, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Do I don't want to get the mortar? No, I don't. Yeah, sorry, I just nearly got murdered by turrets. Oh my god, they're all... Turrets are so accurate on EPSXE. 
probably because of the lack of lag. <laughs> so you mean I've been playing this on hard mode this whole time? <laughs> Honestly, maybe. I nearly died coming out of the third tear going to the vid window, which, like, never happens. I usually take one or maybe two hits going there. One level down. Uh, okay. 18 to go. You got this. Yeah, Golf, um, there, there are a few levels that'll be... something. <laughs> question about uh, the conjugraph floating point. Yeah. Um, with the antivirus... Yes. Is there a way to refill the ammo for that? Uh, no. Pick up m another antivirus is how. Right, okay. Yeah, each of the secondary weapons, you just gotta deal with the ammo you have or find another pickup for it. Muzz is not streaming right now. Muzz is just local recording right now. But that does not make this any less of the first ever reboot race. First and best. Top two runners in the world. And watch the number two runner die to this first tear on level two. <laughs> I didn't, but I'm in red health. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I hope that's okay. Okay, good. I keep worrying that I'm going to, uh. that I'm gonna fail the early tear glitch and lose like a minute on a level. It's not a huge deal if I do, but I'm going to end up doing a bunch of runs of this anyway, but it'd be nice if I don't. I'll go get the second extra life on level 2. Where's there a second extra life on level 2? Is it in one of yeah. the box rooms? Yeah, it, you know where the key is. Yeah, is it the if one below fall, that? Yeah, you fall down there and it's down there. Gotcha. Like, not worth getting in... Not Like, not even worth even trying to incorporate it into the fast route. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, I don't know. There's a lot of time before the second tear spawns. I think there might have been a point where I looked at getting that and then decided I had enough lives anyway. Yeah, the, that's more what I mean. Like you get, you get enough lives and you carry them well enough that you don't, you don't need it. Yeah, I need it. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm watching the. Uh, I'm watching the chat golf. So I can see the uh, Texas toast. Okay, there we go. Whoa. game just decided to turn me around without me hitting triangle. Oh, I love when that happens. Oh, there's a lot of... Okay. I went on the conveyor belt. Yeah. 
and there was about, I don't know, seven boxes. <laughs> That's and so good. I jumped into one and knocked, and got knocked off, so I'm going around. Ooh, uh-oh. Getting the life in level three may be something. I'm having a lot of trouble adjusting to the movement. No, I guess I still got time. I always underestimate how much time I have before the second tear spawns in level three. No, sorry, Yolf, I didn't didn't say that, but thank you. Level three is so strange in just how much time there is now that I'm better. <laughs> yeah. Like, you weren't kidding when you said go back to it and then laugh that you found it hard. Right. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do this jump. There we go. Gosh, I'm not sure I'll be able to finish the game. Like, I'm breezing through the early levels still, but if I'm having this much trouble doing simple jumps in level 3, I, I don't know how, like... Level 15 is gonna go. Oh god. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Where is it that you're dying? In level three before the first hit. Ah. I um. I just got like, I got stuck and the turret near the third key got me. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know where you're talking about. Like I got done in by the fact that. There were so many tarts there. Right. And that is why I pick up that extra life. Don't fall, don't fall, Bob. Yeah, I'm glad I decided to... Oh, crap. I'm glad I decided to do this run before... Uh, switching to PS2. Because I'm going to need to do several of these to get a real estimate for time save. I'm having a lot of trouble getting through this. Take that, squid face. <laughs> Such a good line. There we go. Uh, my day's been alright, Golf. Nothing too exciting. Went to parents, we got some Mexican food for dinner, and then watched some Lost. Which is still a perfectly fine show. Yeah. Th that is only kind of really silly and dumb sometimes. It's one of those shows where I'll rip on it in a joking conversation. Yeah. But if someone wants to actually talk about it, I'm like, okay, I'll actually talk about it. <laughs> right. It has, I think, really bad episode-to-episode -episode writing sometimes. Like, the dialogue is fine, and the series arc stuff is fine and fun. Uh, but every once in a while, some character will just make a decision that makes no sense to me for their motivation. Um, the one that always bugs me with some of the decision-making is, um, 
pearly. Yeah. And even, um, I can't remember which Hobbit it was. The one who plays Mary. Charlie? Right. I can't remember the character's name. I, I just know that he's a Hobbit. <laughs> I think it was Charlie. Yeah. The, the, the rock star. Yes, Charlie. Yeah, he, he's dumb sometimes. And some of it can be explained away by him being an addict, but some of it is just dumb. Yeah. Like, uh, actually that was one that I noticed today. I'm in the stretch where Desmond told Charlie that he's been seeing visions of his death. And Charlie's, like, freaked out about it or whatever. And there's this thing where Claire was like, oh, we should catch a bird and send it, you know, try to get a message on it to send it to land or whatever. And Desmond basically told Charlie, no, you're gonna die if you do that. And so Charlie's way of getting out of it was telling Claire, no, I think that's a really bad idea. What do you know about birds? <laughs> like, yeah. how was that the response? The one that's been bugging me a lot, though, is Locke. In Season 1, he is such a, like, beacon of calmness and patience for everyone on the island. And in Seasons 2 and 3, he just starts getting, like, angry and really self-centered. And I, I don't see where that change happened in him. I don't know. Saying that, Locke still has one of the best uh, introductions. Yeah. Just him just showing up with the the dead whatever it was. Uh, the boar? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, oh. Because you just sort of like, who is this guy? How is he so amazing? And then you get his actual backstory and you're like, you're just like, I, I need more. Like, how, <laughs> how did he do that? Just... Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so I am really struggling through a lot of this. I mean, not, like, dying or anything, but every jump is a challenge for me right now. And I'm still oh. well ahead of any of my PS run runs. I just got, um... I was going around the back way to do the... The cool strat to the third tear. Yeah. And the cock car just... Like, <laughs> as I jumped... Just decided that that was the time to show up. Was it the purple car? Did it drive through a wall? No, no. The, or maybe the... Was, the no, which it was one? the cop car. Oh, that one. Okay. I had a problem... I think it was the purple car. It might have been the health car, though. Uh, on my cycle on PS2, would just, like, fly through a wall right about the time I would jump to the third tear and just push me down. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die again. What will be interesting, um, Golf? Oh, that's a good question. Will rockets fire rapidly into the floor with all the lag? Or without the lag? Or does the lack of lag make aiming better? Uh, no. Well, I mean, no for us because we suck right now, but once I get good at this again... I've got the... I've got the key, but I'm gonna go grab the life. That is a good call. I did not grab the life in level 4 and I kind of regret it. I'm not going to be able to get back this way, but that's fine. Oh, I almost... I almost pulled off the strat where you, um... Where the cars come and you jump off the cars. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh yeah, that cycle... Oh, well, no. I was gonna say that cycle lined up for me really well in level 4. Uh, but I messed up getting the second key, so that's not gonna be consistent. <laughs> Interesting thing to note, none of my splits have been gold so far. <laughs> okay, so I go, I go down, across. God, one thing I'm, I'm noticing, uh oh. One thing I'm noticing with the lack of lag is tears are pushing me around way more than I'm used to. I'll do that. Like, they they still do on PS1 and 2, but it ends up being a lot weaker than it is on this. Oh, let's see how long this jump takes me. Oh, second try. Okay, I'll take that. Gladly take second try. You know, this makes me feel a lot better. Like, about seeing... Considering I always got knocked so far and I was like, okay, maybe I'm just bad. I mean... You know, it's funny. I... I think I remember getting knocked around a lot. And then I switched to PS2 eventually and that stopped. And I just thought like, oh, I guess I've gotten better at the game. But... Yeah, no, it might be... It might be a lack of lag thing. Please get the rockets, Bob. It's really important that you not die here. Okay, please. There we go. Hawkrex! Hello! You get to witness the first ever reboot race. And hey, Pepsi. Hey, Hawk. Hey, Pep. Oh god. I'm I playing jump? I'm playing on emulator for the first time in a while. Uh, I'm curious now that I'm better at the game. I'm trying to get a sense of how fast EPSXE really is, especially after finding out PS1 is not nearly as slow as I thought it was. Okay, good. Let's just take our time on that a tiny bit. Okay. Time. Please stop. There we go. Lost our break gun. You know, Golf, I think you might be right. The rockets might be more accurate than I'm used to. Ah, so... I'm just bad. I mean, I was too. I, I'm not no. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's just that targeting might happen faster. So you don't need to, uh... You don't need to wait as long as I do on PS2 to make sure you're actually targeting the things. You still need to wait a little bit, you can't just fire wildly and hope. Oh, that was a terrible jump. Oh, I'll get it later. Wait, you mean firing wildly and hoping isn't the strategy? Well, it is with the blaster. Oh. Oh, thank god I had enough. <laughs> I just fell off the edge because the car went over the top of me as I was going through it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I'm oh, going to go. Heck. I'm going to go down to the start and grab the ammo. Because if nice. I fall again, it's not worth it. Probably a good call.
Um, given all of the differences that I'm noticing, and again, I'm going to do more runs of this on EPSXE to get a better sense instead of just assuming this one run is exactly how it's always going to be. Uh, but if these differences hold, I think I am much more likely to just separate emulator from console on the leaderboard. Because this is just functionally different in a lot of ways. I don't want to buy a console. <laughs> I mean, you would still have my, like, 50 minute time or whatever to compete against. Tr trust me, Toaster. I'm not competing with your times. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die if I don't, uh, don't get this. That said, again, I'm not I'm not making that separation anytime soon. There's no reason to. Even once you do submit, with only two people on the board, there is no reason to do that. Oh, come on. I want to get this jump. There it is. Um, where are you up to? Um, uh, most of the way th about to finish level 8 basically. Okay. Did where, you... Where are you? Uh... C3. Nice. I, I don't know this boss's name. The, uh, the, the Meg card. ABC. Yep, that's the one. Anyway, what were you gonna ask? Did I... Um, did you notice if this was more accurate? If what was more accurate? If the Mega ABC is more accurate on emulator, because you know, you said that you thought turrets were more accurate. Or oh, deadly. Um. No. No, I think the Mega ABC was still very easy to dodge. I understand. die already. Okay, yeah. thank you. I don't know, it seems like they built some systems with lag expected and others no. they didn't. I just died. <laughs> oh no. I'm not accepting a life loss there, so I'm just restarting the level. <laughs> Okay, uh, hopefully getting the keys in level 9 won't be too bad. That was something I haven't really had much trouble with since I moved to console, but I'm kind of struggling with platforming here, so we'll see. Um, they suck? Just a heads up. <laughs> I got the two hardest ones already, so... No, I, I think I managed to get through it. Also, I take back what I said, this is actually very easy to dodge. The Meg ABC? Yeah. Hell yeah. Just... I've learned to strafe. <laughs> yeah, I think... Watching myself and how I'm moving through level 9, and also a lot of level 8, I think one thing that's going to be difficult to explain when I do a tutorial is how often I kind of rely on bouncing off of walls. Like, if I see that I'm going to bounce into a wall, I just do it and kind of roll with whatever uh, whatever angle I get put off at. 
but that's not obvious, and I have no idea how... how to explain what specifically I'm looking at, you know? I'm... hmm. I had trouble killing I... the Beverly Hills boss. Go on. Jeez. I sort of get what you mean in when you're saying like when you when you know you're bouncing off walls you just roll with it. Yeah. Because I kind of do the same, it's like, okay, I know I'm gonna bounce off this thing, it's gonna hit me there, so my fingers are already readjusting. Yeah, like you you know that it's better to just take that bounce than it would be to try to just turn and avoid it. Yeah. No, no, no. Stay away from uh, me. Okay. Don't you, don't you dare hit me. I'm in the first actually hard level, kids. <laughs> actually, that's not fair. Level 7 and 8 are both pretty hard. <laughs> oh, I finally got the um, first tier in 7. Nice. Okay, no. This is where I'm really, like, I've, I've been losing time the whole <laughs> run, but this is where I'm yeah. really going to lose time because my routes are just so different. That's like 47 I died, so I want to die at about any time now. Okay, good. Get up there, Bob. Bob. Okay. okay. Oh gosh. Seven lives coming into this level. I think I should be okay. Yeah. Because I'll get. Because I, I get the easy one here. Uh, I think it's this one that's got the easy one. Seven. Uh. Seven... yes. Yeah, seven's got a pretty easy one. That's just, like, on the path to the last room. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's the one I was thinking of. So that would give me eight, and then... Please mend the tear, Bob. Oh, gosh, I hope that's okay. Then there's an easy oh, one in God. kit. Okay, Bob, please don't die. Maybe a lot to ask, but it's what I need right now, Bob. Whoa, shoot the thing right in front of you. Don't you just love when it decides to aim for a turret that's nowhere near you? Yes. I love when it tries to aim through, aim at a turret that is on the other side of a wall. That's my favorite. Oh, heck. Okay, good. Cool, I got fast kits. Nice. Okay, I'll get the Get the Fine, I won't get the tear. Okay, giant binome, let's see how you are. A uh, lot of my rockets were missing there, but I think that was my own fault, not the game. Ability. Not because I need it, but because cool. I want it. Well, I managed to get the giant binome before it got to its first little arena, so happy about that. Nice. God, you can do that boss so much faster than I used to think you could. <laughs> I don't know if you watched my kit's boss IL. Uh... I got, like, way into the second half of the path before I beat it, and in the VOD I was like, oh yeah, that's like as good as you can do this! 
Oh yeah, I that cracked me up. I like I did watch that and I'm like I was tempted to go for it. <laughs> Oh, actually, Floating Point Park might be weird. I wonder if the cycles are different. <sighs> eh, no, maybe not. This platform is about where I expect it. I don't know how to don't get that life again. Die. A... I missed the life. I don't know how to get it as a backup, so I'm just skipping it. Oh, yeah. If you miss that, that's... Yeah, I, I would skip it. Don't forget the missile upgrade, nothing else is important. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wait here, I don't trust that jump. And to be honest, I can probably submit that as my IL. Nice. I think... I'll go through the whole run afterwards. And see if there's any that I feel are worth submitting as my IL. Because I don't like submitting ILs from full, from full game runs because Same. I play them differently. Yeah. Oh, I had another realization about level 5, by the way, and doing the early tear glitch on it. Yep. Uh, I'm... Okay, so... My hesitation before with it was that I didn't think you could really get to the third tear before it spawned anyway. Yep. And then I realized that you actually probably could, just barely. Uh, but then I forgot that to death abuse between the first and second tear, I think we would need a new a new skip to get up to the second tear faster. Because we already only barely make it to that one before it spawns. And to do a death abuse, you gotta wait like 10 seconds after the first tear, so... That probably wouldn't be worth it overall. Golf asks for a level number check-in. I am on 15. I am on... Beverly Hills 2. Uh... Eight? Eight. eight. Yep, eight. Golf actually asked for it at a perfect time for me. I was on the level screen. <laughs> Are on... you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, I'm having difficulties. Already in level 15. No, don't die there. No, don't. Where... where are you going? Shoot me! What? Why? Binome! Oh my god, the... what is this? This... okay, yeah, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> okay, so that was about 53. Actually, while yes. I wait for the timer, I'm gonna grab this key. I did my favorite thing. I got the first tear while it was being... There we go. Um, ...dragged along. Nice. The 
One of my favorite things uh, about just like running this game, my favorite moments of running this game, I'm remembering now that I'm in level 15. You know the boxes after the last key that move along the path? Yep. Sometimes I noticed those would go way off of their path and just like drift out over the open space. And at first I thought, oh, I guess EPSXE isn't emulating this properly. But that also happens on PS1. <laughs> I have no idea why. So, before the second tear... Yeah. ...and the door, there's a... ...thing on the right... Yes, that's when antivirus. You jump across. Yes, and that's the one where if I miss it, it doesn't matter because I get it in kits anyway. Yes. Right. Okay. And if my you... My brain kept... Yeah, go on. My brain kept telling me that that was the blaster upgrade. Ah. But I knew it, I knew it wasn't because I'd seen you miss it before. <laughs> right. So I'm like, it's not the blaster upgrade because Toaster would not skip it if it was the blaster upgrade. Yeah. So what is yeah. it? Okay. Oh, hey, speaking of those boxes going off their paths, this one's way off its path and going who knows where. Oh my god. The second tear keeps knocking me down. Hey, Aqua. Okay, well that was pretty bad movement, but the level itself no major mistakes. Oh my god, what are you doing? Why is this not controlling? This is not controlling at all. How I'm telling it to control. Okay, I just died. So now I've got to go all the way from the first tier to the second tier again. Oh no. Honestly, Golf, I would say that to someone who's riding a skateboard just to see how they react. Oh god. So I was trying to I was trying to jump up to where the second tear was. Yeah. But as I was jumping It was as if the tear had got a hold of me. And I just got flung away. <laughs> Perfect. Which made no sense because I was nowhere near the tear. <laughs> right. Like, I was on ground level. This level's not easy, but oh. I didn't expect this one to be the one Heck. that was... I just, I just had my first unintended death of the run in level 16. I died in the gears. Oh my god. Wow. It's not responding to my controls. That's not good. Oh gosh. This is... Gross. Bob, turn more. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> Aqua, this is based on a show. Aqua, this is based on a TV show that you actually need to watch. It's very good. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Is it... I think it has one of my favorite sort of character continuations. Um, is it... Is it season three, the big moment? Uh, yeah, I think season three is when it starts. Yeah. yeah. Well, pretty much, like, for 
given I, I don't want to spoil it for the people who might watch it. Right. Like, just basically all of that. Oh, heck. And <laughs> the way it impacts the characters is just... Yeah, it took a turn that I did not expect when I was watching through it. Yeah, and it's just... I can't think of a show... Like, kids or adults... That has just willingly just... Tossed off that. what it started as? Yeah. Because, yeah, season like... one was... I mean, without spoiling much... S season one was basically purely episodic. And then s the rest of the show, seasons two through four... Became a real series. With, like, a series plot and stuff. Uh, I forgot when I mended the tear. I'm probably good to die. Like, to be able to watch the show again in French. Did they have... I know it was a Canadian show. Did they have, like, a French dub that was, like, intended and well done, I guess? I don't know how often Canadian shows do that for French Canada. Wasn't it made in... I thought it was made in Quebec. Was it? I, I don't actually know much about the company. I should know that. Why don't I know that? Fake fan Zando Toaster. SMH. See, oh, why would I jump then? What was I thinking? <laughs> see, guys, this is why I'm the uh, second best uh, reboot runner. <laughs> Absolutely. Reminding me of lives that are in the game, telling me things about the studio. Pepsi says Pogmas. Golf says invalidate his runs. <laughs> <laughs> Golf. He's trying. There's a reason that he's decided that uh, emulators might need to get split. <laughs> So I came into this level at 34. Yeah. It's now 44 and I'm still here. Oof. I what? was like, what level 8 is so long. Like, even when it goes well, it's ridiculous. I was thinking, like, I might be able to use this one as my IO as well. And then I'm like, no, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've already lost it. <laughs> Uh, I'm entering Hex right now. You're entering Hex? <laughs> okay. I don't feel bad about myself at all. Okay. okay. Uh, final time. 45.36. Uh, that's an EPSXE record by five minutes. Uh, that is the second best run I've ever done in terms of the time it took. That's okay, Muzz. You can compete against my 50. <laughs> um, I feel pretty confident in saying this is going to be faster than PS2. With just this one run. I didn't, I didn't have many mistakes. But there was a lot. I died in level 16, lost, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds there. Um, I restarted level 17, because I died at the start. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I haven't practiced the pyramid skip. So this is going to go badly. <laughs> uh, there we go. Jump up there. Got it. Um. Yeah, golf. I'll replay it. Just give me like forty minutes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look up the code to play as Enzo and then do another run.
Question, do the flying arachnid things work. hurt you in level 9? Uh, yes. I think they do. I think if they land, like, right on you, they do. Okay, that did work. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do another run. So, I got the pyramid skip right. Nice. Destroyed the third tier? Yep. Fell right down to the bottom. Classic. I see how long it takes to kill this with the pistol. Forever. Good to know. <laughs> I really need to open this game up in Task Studio and find out if you can do a level 1 pistol only run by mashing the pistol shots as fast as you can. Because it is hilarious to me. Uh oh. Well, I guess I'm only getting one extra life in level 1. Well, that's no good. But it is hilarious to me how how fast you can shoot the level one pistol. No, don't. <sighs> Fell again. Yeah, it was about fifty, so I want to die at about a minute after. Everyone's favorite thing about uh, level nine: constantly falling. It's the best. I know I loved it back when I started. Oh, I'm sure you still love it. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Um. What'd you do? Okay. I almost failed to do the early tear glitch on level one. Well, I have been to the top of the pyramid three times now, and I have zero keys to show for it. It's like you're living my life from two years ago. It's all because it's the first run. I, I just know that I need things to uh, improve later, so I'm just yeah. getting it all out of the way now. Oh, I did get a follow. Thank you for the follow. I've killed the enemies, so I'm not worried about dying, so it's just all time now. Okay, make that four trips to the top of the pyramid. The zero keys. Keys are overrated. Okay, good. The wonderful thing about this game is, after you've gotten the tears, like, you're not really too worried about much. Other than the fact it's a speedrun. Right, you know. right. I have found, over time, that most of the tear timers have stopped bothering me at all. Because, I mean, oh almost all of the tear timers in the game are, like, longer than the whole level takes me. Yeah, I can't think of a tear... Um, okay. Mm. Okay, kits. Yeah, kits are short. That's true. Those are, like, 30 seconds. Uh, the ones in level 19... Or maybe the... The first one in level 19, I think, is short. The other two are longer. Or not 19, I'm sorry, uh, 17. The lava yeah. level. But even that, it's literally right in front of you, so... Yeah, yeah. Oh, like... level 9's the other one. They spawn immediately and they each have, like, one minute on them or something. Yeah, but now that I know the pyramid skip, that's... They're not 
they're not a concern. Like right. none of the kits is the only one where I would, where if you sit saying that there's a timer makes me go, oh no, there's a timer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hello, Unidorsal. Oh, heck. One key down, but back down to the bottom of the mountain. You got one, though. <laughs> yeah, that was 15 seconds saved in level 2 just from slightly cleaner movement. <laughs> Oh, and I got a bunch using... of time on level 3, too. You're using different splits, right? I'm using... yeah, yeah. I have separate splits for PS2, PS1, and DPSXE. Yeah. And when I inevitably try to do runs on Mednafin, I will have splits for those as well. I will just get that key later. I finally got a key and back without falling. Heck so yeah. I'm... Now at three keys. Um, if I end up getting, like, if I end up getting a new world record on EPSXE, I shouldn't submit it, right? Um, I I don't know how I feel about that. I would say not until you decide what you want to do. Th with emulators? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Like, I'll, I mean... I'll know, know that I have the run, and I'm kind of the most important person to know that that run exists. Yeah, like... The run will exist, and that's... Okay. Level 10 boss. Um, what did I do with this? Shoot with blue. Until it screams. Uh, by the way, I mended the first hair in level three. About 40 seconds sooner than I have been on PS1. <laughs> so yeah, even even just that early in the run, compared to PS1 at least, the difference is very noticeable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. Did that work? Oh, thank god. Just barely. Oh, heck. Heck this jump. Enzo, what are you doing? No, 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 That's okay, fine. Cool. That's good enough. Find some episodes Beverly Hills of French on YouTube. Shocked by how poor some voices are. Change the voice actors, especially for Bob and Megabyte. There's so much more. Here's Matt. I see. Ah. Still got a bunch of time to save there. Okay, I'm up to kits. Nice. Let me know when you pass me. <laughs> These kits, I imagine, will take me a while just because... Because it's hard. Okay. It is hard. It's, it's a hard level. I felt weird thinking about it as a hard level for a long time because the platforming isn't punishing like the gears in 16 are or Floating Point Park is, but yeah. that doesn't mean the platforming isn't really hard. Like this isn't one where I'm worried about dying, like he says as he almost dies to a bloody turret because <laughs> the game doesn't want to aim. Yeah. Okay, that's 15. Okay, so I want to die at about 25-ish. Yeah. 
I'm happy that death abuse works as Enzo. I haven't been doing it in PS1 runs because the timing for the early tear glitch is different, but uh, the normal death abuse I take in level 4 is, you know, the platform that moves up and down? I just, like, drift into the side of it and it crushes me. Yep. And I'm happy that works as Enzo. I'm not too short for it. I didn't even think about that. I didn't until I was approaching it and I realized it might happen. Yeah, that's very lucky. Oh, okay, okay. I see you, purple car. Okay. Uh, okay, since I fell there, I'm just gonna wait for the tear. Get out of here, Enzo. can't catch that cycle, so I'll go for the platform, see where it is. Oh, I just missed the platform cycle. Oh well. You don't know if you can watch the show anymore. I mean, in my opinion, the English voice actors are really good. <laughs> if you can watch it in English... The, the Megabyte voice actor is great. He's so good. And as I remember, if I'm remembering right, he was basically in two notable things and was almost entirely a stage actor other than that. It was Reboot and he was the bad guy in Hunchback from Notre Dame. Are you... what? Okay, cool. I did not know that. <laughs> like, I know I love both voice... Like, I know I love the voice of both of those. I didn't yeah. realize it was the same person. <laughs> See, this is why you're number one. That's true. I'm also number one because I'm the one who put up with watching through Reboot the Guardian code. <laughs> the, the yeah, Netflix I... sequel series that was so good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not putting myself through that. Did I, did I tell you about my favorite part of that show? When yeah. the bad guy, who's this, like, creepy, gross hacker guy, uh, sees a bug on the ground, and I was like, oh my god, I hope he eats the bug, and he did eat the bug. Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How else would you know he's the bad guy? Exactly. Oh, have a good night, golf. Good night, golf. Um, where's the... That's not what I wanted. That's oh, I gotta wrong. wait a cycle. Was I late or was I super early? Okay, so I need to go for the tear oh. right away. If I was super early, the early tear glitch might be worthwhile on level 5 on EPSXE. Because huh. I, I almost caught an earlier cycle without doing the death abuse to, uh... The second death abuse to get there faster. Okay. Third tear down, so now it's just uh, get myself to the last key. Oh gosh. Oh, that's not gonna fly. Oh no, -y. I can't. <laughs> okay, okay. This wasn't great. But I'm through it. I shouldn't say that before I hit the vid window. I should keep my mouth shut. 
Okay, there we go. Now we're through it. No, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh. Ah, first level I didn't gold was level 5. Missed it by a quarter second. Make sure I don't miss it. Oh Kits. my god. Kits done? Yep. Nice. Kits one or both kits? Uh, kits one. Awesome. I mean, the boss isn't that hard, so... Kit's too done soon, but yes, awesome. Oh, heck. Definitely not saving time on the Meg ABC. Wait, really? I thought I lost way more than that. Maybe I... I don't know. Maybe Enzo does reduce lag more. <laughs> okay. Stop firing to the freaking floor. I I honestly kind of hope it turns out that Enzo is optimal because of lag. Just because that would be one of the funniest like statements about about a speedrun to me. <laughs> Play as this character because they have the least polygons on their model. I really need to get that health. I'm gonna get it now before the tear. Come on. Why have I been missing that jump lately? Goodness. Why is this not dead? Oh, no. Wait, this is really bad. Uh, I need this invincibility instead. I'm gonna lose to in kits 2 oh because it's somehow not dead even though I've unloaded, like, everything into it. Uh, where is it? In the second arena. Uh, I mean, you can beat it with, uh, with just the pistol, for what it's worth. I've done it before. Yeah, that's currently what I'm doing. It just, yeah. Yeah. Even then, like, the auto-aim on it yeah. is just, like, I'm just not getting the game to aim at it, and it's... Right. There we go. Okay, I'm definitely not saving time on level 7. Not with missing this jump, like, five times. And with how bad the last tear went. Oh my god, what? No! <laughs> well, okay, Muzz, we'll, the fun. we'll see if I pass you. <laughs> well, I'm at Floating Point Park, so you've got about 40 minutes. Oh god, I'm not even going to come out ahead at the end of this level. Um, which one? Eat that life now, jeez. What the, why are you stuck on a tree? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, this one first. Yeah, losing all of my lead here. 
Oh. And I can gold this level by a bunch too, I know. Man. Ah, well. It's so nice for me right now to be able to do a speed run where I can lose like 45 seconds and my entire lead like a third of the way through the game and just not really care. I think Reboot has kind of been the perfect off game for me to be playing while grinding Crash Bandicoot. It's just... It's just such a good game for that sort of thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I probably have enough ammo to deal with those things. Oh, that's not... That's not oh. ideal. What's up? I hit the, um... The first tear? Yeah. I hit the bad guy. Uh-huh. With the antivirus. Yeah. As he shot his last bullet, that killed me. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, let me mend the tear, please. Okay, good. I like in level 8 with the enemies that guide that one tear. Uh, yep. Tears kind of naturally pull you towards them as well as away from them. And if you catch it right when those enemies are pulling the tear, you can just start mending the tear and let it drag you along until it's mended. Yeah. Uh, I should have gone. I wonder what makes those boxes not be on the same cycle every run. I wonder if they have like some kind of local loading that depends on how you approach them or something. Oh, I want Maybe. to take out this turret, actually. Oh, I learned something, by the way, in my little bit of Crash Bandicoot studying I was doing. I forget oh, yeah? who told me this. Somebody a while ago said global cycles do not all reset on death. Only some of them do. Uh, and as far as I can tell that's just not true. <laughs> According to multiple sources Teb has recently put out, no, all global cycles reset when you die. Well, I'll believe Ted. Like, like if I'm gonna maybe, believe anyone in that game, <laughs> it's like I, even the ones that I, I, the, I thought there was some that didn't. But if Ted's saying it, I'm believing him over me. I also learned that the one at the end of Castle Machinery is the only one in the game that is based on when you spawn into the level. That was a fun fact. I guess that's a fairly common kind of cycle in Crash 2 and 3, but in Crash 1 that's the only one. Oh, I died again. Although, they said that's the only one. I wonder if it actually is, or if that's the only one that does that that, like, matters. You know, like, I wonder if there are, like, animation cycles that are based on when you spawn in the level or something. I'm not sure. Oh, nice. I mean, the game is just so many cycles. <laughs> it really is all cycles, isn't it? Cycles all the way down. Okay, and these boxes are in different places again. Yeah, weird.
Oh my god, get up there, Enzo. Come on, come on. Ah, heck. Oh, right, that one doesn't move. I'm doing. Aha, one second gold, even with getting to the first tear late. <laughs> um, where's that? Uh, level, level eight. Nine? Eight. Going into nine now. Floating point park one done. We're almost into the into the weeds. You got this. G Prime is free. <laughs> Every single level in it. Oh Just my god! Please. <laughs> I love how every level of G Prime has its own crazy hard thing. Like, the tears in 16 aren't that bad, but that platforming through the gears section is awful. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of 15 isn't that bad, but the last tear is the worst one in the game. Uh-oh. Hey. Guess who failed platforming in level 9? Me? I guess also <laughs> you. <laughs> G Prime 1, here we come. I love the level, there like, not, not the level name, but you know the little things that pop up before you go into levels. Like oh, Pass yeah, the, Fury. the, yes. Yeah. It's just like, knowing the context is just like, ooh, that's just a very interesting statement. I really like the story to this game. It is actually really good. Like, it's one of those things where I did not expect to enjoy the story of this game. Oh, God. Mostly because it's an EA game. Yeah. Right. Yeah, why would it be good? Um, I fell before the first and fourth keys. So level nine is taking me a while. I've decided I'm going to go for the third key before I bother doing the first tear. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Oh, never mind. I'm just going to go do the first tear. That's also not a bad idea. Because I think of since I was already like... Oh, God. Yep. I was already on the platform, so I was like, I may as well because I've got so much time. And it's like, if yep. I fall, then I can go. Yeah. I, um... But I'm not doing great in level 9. I'm falling a lot. I'm not doing great in level 15. Okay, back to the top. Yeah, I, I basically lost maximum amount of time falling before the fourth key. I fell all the way down to the bottom and wasn't sure where I was, and went about 90% of the way around the pyramid, instead of 10% around the other way. And then Guys. almost got to the top, and then fell again. Patented Muzz strategy, that one. <laughs> Always learning things from new runners. Just glad to be of assistance. I'm pretty proud of all of my strategies. Especially my one of, um, you take the fans up in uh, G Prime 1 and then you just get absolutely no height with them. Oh, I love that, yeah. I did that too, actually, in my last run. I tried using those to get up to the, uh, the, you know, the platforming for the first key and just got nowhere. There we go. 
second tear destroyed. Let's go. Wish me luck. The other rough thing about the third tear in G Prime 1 is just that, uh... It exists? Yeah. No, if you... <laughs> if you fall, you're basically guaranteed to take damage going back up because of the... Even if you kill the enemies down there, there's the tower that's blasting the ground that's gonna hurt you. Yeah. Come on, I did this. Get it first or second guy in practice. Oh, Noe. Oh, in a run. big Noe. Uh, I think I should just <sighs> go back for it. I. How long is the timer on this tear? Uh oh. 30 seconds. Ah! Oh no, I'm stuck in the. I'm stuck in the fan room. Oh, fucking. Okay. I'm stuck oh. in kits, I guess, for a while. Never mind, I got out. I got out. It took me so long to get out that the third tear just spawned. <laughs> nice. That also happened to me a number of times. Which is actually why it took me a while to notice that the early tear glitch was happening sometimes. Because I definitely triggered it multiple times before I noticed it. And it's because it usually took me so long to get out of there that I didn't think twice about the third tear spawning early. I almost did something so cool. Oh, what was it? I almost jumped across the vent area. Yeah. And on to the third tear. And I had almost destroyed it before I got that unlucky bump that... Ah. Like, it was almost a perfect third tear kill. Oh, I'm not going to be able to destroy this third tear. I'm already losing too much health. No. Away. No, I'm gonna die. Don't want to have to get out of that room again. Oh, I died. And now I have the problem that the timer starts from. God, I am honestly really surprised that my other run went as well as it did. Let's try this jump. I've done this before. Oh my god, I'm amazing! Oh no, I'm an idiot! Never mind. Well, I still think I'm amazing. I'm just also an idiot. I can be both. Enzo, stop turning midair, please. Uh, this might kill sub 50 on this run. If this takes me much longer. Uh, no, actually it shouldn't. This would have to take me a while longer to kill sub to kill sub 50. Yes, got the tear. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need you to look at that to tell me what the fuck I just did. <laughs> okay. Did did you fly? Yes. That happens sometimes. I don't know why. But I also appear to have broken the boxes on the um, conveyor belts. Oh. Wait. Broken like they were gone, or broken like... Like they were just moving weird. Moving weird. That also just happens. I I don't know why. <laughs> oh fuck! 
it, I'm going around. I'm not I'll waiting for the conveyor belt thing, I'm just going up and around <laughs> to where the first hit was. Oh, Keep run one heck. done. Nice. Oh gosh, okay, okay. Um, what level is that? 16 or 17? 15 is G Prime 1. Because I'm just, I'm overriding oh my, my save for level 16, just in case. Because gears. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Though, if I go down to two lives, I'm just restarting. Like. <laughs> I'm not. Because if I go down to that point, that means I've lost four lives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, um... The second half of my run is not going great. I'm like three and a half minutes behind at this point. Oh no! Enzo, please. Please don't fall. Please. Please. Be better. Oh my god, I'm amazing. I mean, I guess if I was amazing, I wouldn't have nearly fallen to begin with, but... Ah, yeah, you're amazing. Let's just... Let's, let's roll with it. Yeah. No, go away. Oh, I'm behind a cycle. I guess I'm only behind like half a cycle. Let's see if I can catch something here. No, I'm behind a cycle. Oh gosh, please. Yeah, I gotta wait for a bunch of stuff. Oh, that goes so far down. I'm gonna lose so much time here. I didn't even fall and I'm gonna lose so much time. The cycles in Floating Point Park can be brutal when you miss them. So one thing I was thinking of... Yeah. You know how you said you never noticed that ramp? Yeah. In this level? Um, can you use that... You might be able to use that to out of bounds, because you can definitely... The scenery definitely doesn't go up that high. Uh, possibly. As I recall, there might be an invisible wall in that level that's kind of in the way, and also the keys are not in helpful places. I've flown out of bounds before in that level, and the keys are not where I thought they would be based on my mental <laughs> image of the level. That's fair. Oh yeah, but looks of it, they're right under the ground. I don't believe they are. They're like way off to the, uh... Basically, the ramps that take you to the gear rooms go down and then outwards. Oh. Okay. And then the keys are next to them, so you'd need to jump like on the outer edge of the level, which isn't happening. No. I'm thinking that I might have to restart this because I have zero keys and I'm down three lives already. Ooh. And I'm not confident only carrying four lives into um into seventeen. Well, if I carry yeah, if I carry four lives, that'll be okay because I can get a life in seventeen. I always okay. just restart if I ever die unintended in seventeen, since it's such a short level anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'm restarting, just because I have no keys and I've lost four lives. I don't want to <laughs> For deal just with a it. second, I thought you meant you're resetting the run. <laughs> no, 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 no. Also, I think I'm coming back. I golded the Floating Point Park boss by two seconds. Now I'm only 341 behind. 
Oh, why are these jumps so hard? Stay on me. Yep. <sighs> oh my god. Artist restart, he said. <laughs> but better, he said. Oh yeah, I'm on 15, by the way, so I'm... I'm close. I legitimately can't get to the second tier. Like, I've failed to go into the room, like, four times. Oh yeah, if you fail to drop into it, that one's not free just, to get into. I'm just restarting again. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm so close to the end now that I don't mind getting into a bit of a just keep going until I get. Just keep what I'm going happy and with. keep your lives. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, almost didn't make a jump. Like, losing a life to a turret is just not acceptable at this point in the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, wait. No, Enzo. There we go. Okay. Fans, not fans. I don't even know what to call those. What the hell are the metal spinning things that Megabyte put in this sector? Yeah, I call them fans, but they're more like meat grinders. Yeah. What's the purpose of those, I wonder, in G Prime, in the G Prime economy? Yeah. It's not a. It's not a room that makes sense. Maybe Megabyte just throws binomes in there he doesn't like. I was gonna say, like, maybe it's a trap for Bob, but then it's just like, he wants you to save his <laughs> realm? Yeah. So, like, is he just randomly setting a trap for you just, like, because he can't help himself, or, like... <laughs> it's in his programming. Uh-oh. Uh, like, he's oh just gosh. like, I know Bob's trying to help, but screw that guy. No, I suppose you're Enzo. Uh. Hey, hey. Guess whose lights are flickering and whose TV just shut off for a second. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I just went the wrong way. I did bump into a tear right as it happened, so I blame that. <laughs> The game was like, oh no, you touched raw electricity. I'm gonna break your house. Whatever you say, game. <laughs> You're the boss here. <laughs> okay. I have one key left to get, and I have six lives, so I will eat this down to about three lives, I think. I am going into level 16 with only two lives. But I guess there's one that I can get in the level that isn't that hard, so I should be fine. If I die in 16, I can just reset also. Green window accessible. Thank you, game. That is the most beautiful thing I've heard. <laughs> level complete. Oh. Okay, I pressed... I pressed my timer, there is no proof that I didn't. You know, I wonder if you can go out of bounds where you mentioned. 
if that would be faster than... Okay, yeah, I died already. Uh, if that would be faster than taking the entrance to the second tear. Instead of waiting um, for that door to open all the way. Maybe? It, I mean, it'd be also, real minor, but... Like, but also... It's useful just getting the missiles at the time you get them. Yeah, because there's all the turrets in the hallway. Are you serious? Okay, I may be on 16 for a bit, too. Okay, I have now done the early tear glitch. You, you might finish before I catch you. It's possible. Um, I might now. Like, I wasn't confident before, but... I guess it mostly depends on how... Oh my god! On how Megabyte and Hex go for you is what I was gonna say. I've just, I failed the first jump. Not the first jump. You know where I do the skip up the ramp to the first key in 16? Yep. I failed the jump to that ramp multiple times in a row. Not the jump from that ramp to the key, just the jump up to that ramp. There we go. I just, I just failed um, level 17. Perfect. Because the tear spun me around like three times. Oh, love it. Love tears. And then flung me off into the lava. <laughs> okay, I'm just restarting. It's not... The level's too short to waste time. Oh, heck. Okay. Well, now I so, fell while trying to get to the second tear. I really am just learning all your strats right now. There we go. No, don't fall down. You suck. I, I would have been so happy if that was if I'd gotten that first try. Because you know how I said uh, I'm not going to be greedy and go for this in a run. Yes. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm lying. Really. Uh, I'm lying scum. <laughs> I did the classic thing. Oh, come on! Uh, uh... Now I wait about... I don't know. Okay, now should be good. I'm gonna be playing 16... I'm gonna be playing the whole end of this game stupid risky. Oh, let me jump up there, please. Enzo, turn. Okay. Not that way. <sighs> there we go. I'm so confused by my movement. I'm not sure if it's my controller or something about the lack of lag that I'm not used to, but I'm having a lot of moments of feeling like I'm holding forward or whatever, and Enzo just starts, like, turning around. Okay, tart. All tears mended, so... Okay, let's try this again. Now that we have that life. Okay, I died. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now get the key, please. Thank you. Okay. I'm going into 17 with two lives, which is not ideal since I... Oh, I just... I shouldn't death abuse in it. No, I can. I can easily. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to look at, uh, my... that level as well. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know you're... you're I mean, gonna I'm gonna watch, watch the whole run. Yeah, obviously. But I'm at Megabyte now. 
Hell yeah. I'm just entering 17. So, like, you're gonna get a second run now. It's... Hell yeah. Oh, fart. Well, there goes my time save on level 17. <laughs> Let me mend the tear. Okay, okay. That was about 26. So at like 40, I guess I should die. Oh, that's a little long. Well, I mean, okay. I spent so oh. long debating how long I should wait before death abusing that more time than I was even considering passed. <laughs> Alright, well, I just died once in Megabyte. Great. Because I thought I killed him. Oh, yeah. But, turns out I hadn't. Megabyte just tears through your health if you're if you're not ready for it. Yeah, like, I, I was just I let my concentration slip for a moment because I thought I'd won. Bitch. Like... Every rocket I fired just shot into the ground. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I'm going into Megabyte with two lives now. I'm leaving Megabyte. <sighs> with four? You got this. One more. One more level. I am saving. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am not... Um, not dealing with this. Uh, when is time? Uh, when the screen fades to black after killing Hex. Okay, just making sure. There we go, that's Megabyte done. I say that as if you're going to, like, as if it matters. As if I'm not going to retime it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, died once, but I've got plenty of lives, so I'm just going to stick it out until I go down to two lives. I always forget until I'm in there, that there's a life in the hexadecimal fight, if you want it. Yeah, yeah, I already picked that up. And I am done with Hex. 5303. Not, uh, not my best showing, but this is a fun game, so I don't care. 141.23. Nice! <sighs> Huge GG. Um, I haven't looked, I'm not jinxing myself, but I think that beat your first run? Uh, just barely not. Oh, damn. Mine was 141.04. So, I would have had it if I didn't screw up Hex. Or like if you didn't save all the time, or probably any number of things, but yeah. Well, GG yeah, yeah. though. Within a minute of my first run, and honestly, being able to do a first run way faster than I did. Huge grass. Do you care where the recording stops? Ah, uh, not really. As long as it, uh. As long as it gets the fade to black, I don't really mind. Okay. I'm going to save over my all levels save. <laughs> nice. And stop recording. Um. Oh, God, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs>
Hell yeah. I can't believe I raced someone in Reboot. Never thought it would happen. I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe that, um... I was so close that you... That we both finished the second run around the same time. That you finished your second run around the same time. Yeah. Because, like... I was expecting you to do the two before I finished, and then... You know, just hang out and you hang out and talk while I finished. Yeah, I I figured both of my runs would be around forty five minutes, but uh, yeah, those those took a little longer. And your run was fairly fast for a first run. Like, I'm not. I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm not going to pretend I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but, damn, that was... It's more just that there's so much time I know I can improve. Right. And knowing that I can get up to Hex with five lives, I know I can at least do the tag glitch. I think the levels... Level 2 is where it saves the most time, I'm pretty sure. Um, level 3 is the one I was thinking of. Level 3 would also... Yeah, yeah I think it's 2 and 3 save around the same amount of time. Like, but, level yeah. 1, I'm happy to just not do it yet, just because the extra life helps. Right. Level 2, it won't save as much time because I'm routing in the second life anyway. Oh, true. And... Like, level 3 is just going to save time. There's... It's just going to save heaps and heaps of time. Yeah. Because I had to end up... I had all three keys, I had the extra life, and I was waiting... And I killed Squid Face before <laughs> the second tear. Right, right. I think. I, either way. <laughs> no, I'm pretty like, sure you did. I could. Yeah. So even if I didn't, I could if... I had... Like, if I was going well. Right, right. One thing that I find fun with this game is there's the demo mode that plays, right? Yep. Uh, there's a weird object around Bob in the demo mode, and I think that's what the radar used to be. <laughs> After watching this demo mode a million times... I think there used to just be a ring around you with little triangles that point to nearby objects. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a fun game. It's... But it's also not there for some levels. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what old version of the game they were working with when they made that demo. It's not any of the prototypes we have, because I've played them, and they're very similar to this version of the game. Anyway, I'm gonna raid Spora and end my stream. Yep.